My name is Jaron Thompson. I've uh, been teaching for 12 years and have been here at Canyon Ridge for six. I'm highly qualified to teach math and science. I was a 504 coordinator. I also have a master's in, administ in administration. I do have children here in the district, so when I speak to you tonight, I'm speaking in the terms of being a teacher and, and also a parent at the same time. I uh, spoke to Dr. Dickinson about some of the issues that were at hand. Many of them were resolved, but the biggest problem that I've come across, and the reason why I'm not signing my contract or, and I've put in my resignation is because of the way this, in, the district is interpreting Title IX and Policy 3085, where if I don't play along with the gender pronouns, that I can be disciplined up to the point of terminated. Uh, it's wrong. It violates natural law, it violates constitutional law, the freedom of speech, freedom of religion, even basic tenets of biology, which I've taught here, and also of math. I'll start with the math one. Well, in math class, I've actually had the student laugh, the students laugh at me because how many they are. It turned out to be one person. If we can't come to a consensus about what terminology is, how do you expect to get your math scores up? We can't even understand what's being written on a piece of paper, um, let alone common core, but that's a separate issue. Uh, in science class, I've been called a bigot, a homophobe, the, the whole list, because I came out and I said, XX is a girl, XY is a boy. Um, doesn't matter if you go through gender reassignment surgery. I can swab your mouth, and the truth of the mouth would say on the, on the spittle, XX is still a girl, XY is still a boy. Now, if I were to say that, even if it's legal on their birth certificate, I can be terminated because I'm not playing along with the dysphoria that these students have. It's gender dysphoria. They're, they're confused about what their gender is. It's, it's a mental disorder. If you've got a schizophrenic up there talking to an imaginary friend, you don't talk to the imaginary friend to help this person out. You treat them appropriately. I've got half my students that consider me teacher's pets are these students because I treat them like human beings. And I don't make a big issue about the gender stuff. Um, freedom of speech, I should have the right to not say what I don't believe. Freedom of religion, in my faith, a boy is a boy, a girl is a girl. There is a gender difference. And so having to play along with this violates my rights in, to, to religion. Um, when I talked to Dr. Dickinson about it, he brought up that it is law because it's Title IX, it's a federal thing. The Constitution was a law before that. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion precedes, oversees, superimposed, however you want to say it. So if you talk to the lawyers, yeah, I mean, slavery was legal at one point. Um, Jim Crow laws were legal at some point, along with uh, internment camps. Those was all legal, but it wasn't right. It doesn't make it right to force us to say things that we know aren't true. Um, finally, Dr. Dickinson wanted to look into some court cases. In the past three years, I've come, or in the past year, I've come across three court cases. Virginia Supreme Court, uh, Cross versus Lowndes County. Ohio professor won $400,000. Um, Kansas City teacher, uh, Ricard versus the Gregory County, or Greer, Greer County. Three different cases, um, and the list is growing because of the situation at hand. And I guess the final point I'd like to make is that I've found that the pride group tends to be the most bullying group in the school, the most violent, the most outspoken, the most, uh, I don't know how you say, just they tend to be the bullies. I've had a student pounding on her desk, yelling at the student next to her, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, and I, I kept my mouth shut because I didn't want to get in trouble. but. The situation's happening. They're the ones who are hurting themselves the most and hurting others the most. Um, my child comes back and I'm like, I don't say anything because they bully me. Two children have said that. So I understand the, the, the conflict of being in the middle because you've got far right wing, you've got far left wing, and here you are in the middle trying to keep the peace. And so what happens is the left keeps pushing border in order for you to be in the middle you have to shift yourself i've stayed true to my principles and here i am so any questions comments no your time is up thank you for addressing the court thank you mr